you know when leaves get stuck in the gutter on your house and you gotta clean them out? That's what you gotta do with your brain after you watch these fucking morons. Because truth be told, none of these people have the credentials or qualifications or can tell you shit about being in a healthy relationship with a man or a woman, which is what we should all be striving towards. These motherfuckers, they don't even give advice on how to date or how to court women for marriage. They just give advice on how to fuck as many women as possible, which is not a huge achievement. I mean, I don't know if I have like pretty privilege going on, but to me, it's not a huge achievement. I don't think. I'm telling you, man, we're getting too old for this shit. And I'm getting too old to be watching videos by Fresh and Fit. Too old for this. Are we in second grade where we pick on girls because we like them? The fuck are we doing? Myron might be able to teach you how to make money as a social media influencer or how to fuck as many women as possible, which for a lot of people, those possibilities are going to be limited either way. Let's be honest. You know, if you ain't got the juice, you ain't got the juice. And these motherfuckers, they ain't got the juice. That's why they don't know how to act around women. Because if you got the juice, chances are you got that shit from day one or you grew into it. But these guys, they act like they don't know how to act around women. They yelling at them, telling, calling them names, kicking them off the show. What the fuck are you like? What are you doing? Do you think do you think that's going to make a woman wet when she sees you doing that shit? Engaging in that type of behavior, which could be characterized as over dramatic. And then another thing that I don't like these fucking guys they do is they'll talk about being a protector and a provider knowing damn well that if they were around in caveman times, they wouldn't even have the genetic makeup to survive past the age of 10. So that's another thing that I don't like about these fucking guys. Never had a hair touched on their head and all of a sudden they know about fighting and they want to do this, they want to do that. You can't even stop a double leg. What the fuck are we talking about? You know, but that's a sidetrack. Um, let me keep going off on this tangent. And thank you for sticking with me, by the way, if you're still here. Listen, the reason you got fucked over from someone of the opposite sex at some point in your life was probably because you were young, naive, or innocent. I get that. But if you got to a point in your life where you're an adult and you keep getting fucked over by someone from the opposite sex and it's, it's becoming a pattern, that's because you let it happen. Ain't got shit to do with the female nature or the male nature. It has everything to do with the people you choose to be around. Because instead of choosing to position yourself around men and women with high virtue, you continue gravitating towards men and women who couldn't give a fuck about you. Whose fault is that? That's not the fault of men or women. That's the fault of you. Oh, that's you. That's you. 